Welcome to Jurassic Reviews. In this episode, we take a look at the last basic dinosaur in this line. Though it's really not a dinosaur, it's an ancient flying reptile. And that figure is the Pteranodon. The Pteranodon retailed in 1993 and retailed for $4.99 and came with a collector's card. It measures 4.5 inches tall when standing and has a wingspan of 9.5 inches. Here's a quick size comparison with other figures from this line. Here it is next to the Kenner 4 inch human and a Mattel 3 and 3 quarter scale human. Here it is next to the Velociraptor. Here it is next to the Stegosaurus. And finally, here it is next to the Tyrannosaurus Rex. The Pteranodon features a gray and blue paint scheme. The majority of the figure is dark gray, with the underside of the wings and body being more of a light gray. The only blue to be found is on part of its head, and its fingers on its wings. It also sports red eyes. The figure can stand when you have its wings in a certain position, but it's not very stable and the wings can slide and cause the figure to fall easily. Its action feature on the package states that it has dino strike jaws and wing flap. These features work, but they are not very impressive. The jaw feature just requires you to press down on the back of its head, which will cause its mouth to open. And the wing flapping feature is a button on its back that when pressed causes the wings to move. Well, a little bit. It also has some additional articulation. Its head can rotate, and its legs can move back and forth. Before we continue, I forgot to mention that the JP mark on this one can be found under its wing. This one's number is 5. This Pteranodon would have one repaint, occurring in the 1999 Jurassic Park Dinosaurs line that was exclusive to Walmart. For this release, it still keeps the gray underside, but has green paint on its head, white eyes, and purple on the top of its wings, and throughout the rest of its body. This version also came with two Pteranodon hatchlings, which are purple with a little bit of white on them. These hatchling figures originated in the Lost World line with the Nick Van Owen human figure. Other than the hatchlings and the new paint, it's the same figure. After this one, there was no other release of this figure, though there was a cancelled Chaos Effect Night Hunter version. The Series 1 Pteranodon is quite common. Loose, it can be had $5 to $10, and in its box, it should not fetch you too much more than $20. The Jurassic Park Dinosaurs version is a little more rare, just because of the exclusive line it was a part of. Lusa would be in the $15 to $20 range, and in its box, $40 to $50. Though you can always find these figures for more or less. For a rating out of 10, I give both of these figures a 5 out of 10. The paint job is pretty dull on both of these releases, and overall it's one of the weaker Kenner figures. The action features are just okay. And there's a better Pteranodon by Kenner in a later line. If I had to pick one over the other, I'd go with the Jurassic Park Dinosaurs one. I like the paint job better, and you get the hatchlings. And that does it for the Series 1 Pteranodon. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.